Hey everybody, it's Lisa from Chef Road Studio. Today I thought we would do a fun project called Can We Do It? Can We Make a Journal Out of This? So I was just looking through some of my drawers trying to find something and I came across this and I realized that I bought this in an estate sale or a thrift store or something because it had some ledger type paper in it. Some has been torn out and some is left. And it's in one of those padded, goofy um, cover. Somebody has covered this up. It looks like it used to say cash on the front. Someone's taken uh, black electrical tape and covered that up. How nice, right? Let's see what we can do. Can we make, can we make a cute junk journal from this little book of graph paper or ledger paper? And let's try to keep these pages in here. All right, let's do it. All right, first we're gonna take this gaudy cover off. We're gonna do the same thing we did with that other one. Just gonna start slicing this off and find out what's underneath. Now, of course, if this doesn't turn out, you'll never see this video because I'll just push delete. Wow, who was the genius that thought they should put padding in things? I don't know. What can I use that for, guys? I should keep that, right? What could I use this for? Hmm, there's got to be a use for that. Okay, so what do we got under here? Okay. So it's just basically, boy, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I started something I can't finish. Let's, let's keep on going. Cause see, like this one's not bad. So I really don't want to mess with that. But now, now I've kind of messed with the, with the, uh, unless we glued that, but now we can't. See, we got to take that off now. We have to take this off because it is sticking up. Hmm. All right. I really didn't want to mess this up too much. Probably gonna cut myself, I would think. <laughs> but I just trying to get that the rest of that scrap off of me. Okay. Um so Would like to get this off but it's pretty it's pretty stuck yeah 
Can't do too much because this is all connected with this piece. Maybe we won't be able to do this. Maybe this challenge will fail. I hate to think that because this could be fun. All right. Let's get something to put back over this. Okay, so I found a grocery sack, which I like to work with anyways. And I thought we would just take some bits. Well, let's cover for sure, get this spine covered. Use one of these skinnier pieces for that. I put too much on. What do you think? Okay, that seems pretty, pretty tight on there. Let's get it in all the cracks. sure it's sticking in the middle. Okay, we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna come back and figure out something for the rest of the cover. Okay, so this is pretty, pretty dry. I'm gonna cut some pieces for the front. So I am just going to lay this out.
put it to right there because we don't want that scoop. So we'll just take half of this, half for each side, and then we'll figure out the rest. I didn't glue all the way to the edge because when I do this, it'll bring that glue out. See, so we're getting glue. Sorry, but I am a messy crafter. I cannot apologize for that. It's just who I am. I can't keep everything all nice, neat, and tidy. I don't know how these people craft with these long nails either. They're pretty, and I wish I could do it with, you know, without keep getting them all, you know, paint covered and everything. But. If you can do it with long nails, more power to you. some paint or not paint throw some glue on there and start spreading it I keep putting too much on though I you'd think I'd learn um, it's messy PVA glue is messy but I like it it works you know it's a lot cheaper than trying to do all of this with like or glitter glue or, or fabric fix or something. So, let's get that. Let's 
glue, Lisa, less glue. We're just trying to cover up all the rough, scraggly edges that we created when we took off that beautiful padded cover. Now, you know, I don't know if this um, project will turn out, but I thought how fun it would be just to grab something, not think too much about it, and just do a video and say, can we do it? How will this turn out? Will it look at all like a journal? <laughs> will it be nice or will we toss it in the garbage? About the edges later. I do need to um, get rid of this glue glue page here. This is my little glue strip. This is my scrap paper. It just allows me to get messy, and that was pretty messy. We don't need all that glue all over, so. Let me go get a new okay. piece. So, I'm back. Um, I went and off camera cut out some more die cut flowers in some cardstock. And I thought we could arrange some of these on the front. Let's see. Let's make sure this is the front. No, it's not. See? See what I would have done there? Okay, so this is the front. And this is kind of not really great up here. Because there wasn't enough to fully flip over. But, uh, I need something to push down on there. I'm not going to fully worry about that too much because we're going to fix all this. And it's going to look grungy. It's going to look um, handmade, right? It's not going to be perfect. But grungy and vintage looking. Okay. So, let's see if we can get that to stay down. Okay, so this being the front, because, you know, the paper is right side up this way. I want to put some of these on here. I don't think they'll all fit. Let's see. Um, let's see. I did two of each. I don't think they're all going to glue just randomly across the front of this and then that will help stick our flowers on and then when they dry well we'll see what we're gonna do I think this is the only way to be able to get I may regret doing this but I think it's the only way to get all the little pieces stuck down where I want them so now we're just basically gonna melt those flowers down into that glue stick and where they overlap that's gonna be a little bit different there we go man I hope this works I hope this turns out you guys I 
think it'll look cool. We just got to get them to stick first. So, stay down. Okay. Um, we need some leaves. one see I would usually try this stuff off camera just by my own you know by myself just messing around in my craft room I never would have thought to just like share this because you know what if it doesn't turn out but then again it's not a live video so if it doesn't turn out the video just never sees the light of day right you never know it was even a thing so I'm gonna lift this other one up a little bit and stick stick it uh, down with some art glitter glue the, the point is to have these really stuck good that's why I thought the uh, glue stick would be a good idea and it might. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Right. So we got hmm. I'm just stuck some more glue stick on this one. Isn't it fun to be crazy in your crafting, just taking a risk, taking a chance? If it doesn't work, well, this was, I don't know, this little book probably cost me 50 cents, if that, at a, I don't know. I can't remember if I got it at a uh, estate sale or like a thrift store. I almost think I got it at an estate sale. I just kind of threw it in with some other items I had and so it wasn't much but I saw that it had like um, why can't I ever think of the name of this stupid paper Gra like graph typey paper in there ledger style paper I saw that it had that in it and I thought well I can always use that right I can always use that gotta smash them now it's like uh you gotta stay down you guys gotta stay down and dry down yeah just stay stay put until you dry I think I'm just gonna throw on some more glue stick on this one over here on a piece of the paper sack so Now I want you to come up a little higher. Uh, this is so sticky, you guys. Now I'm hoping that this glue stick will dry and won't make me regret putting it all over this front of this. Okay, so come on there, dandelion. I just feel like that's not gonna stick. Come on. It down. So, anyways, we're gonna let this dry completely. I mean, completely. So we won't take our next step until this is dry. So I will see you when it's dry. Okay. So I just dried this with the heat gun, and it's pretty. It's pretty dry. Like I can not stick to it too bad. Now the next step is gesso. So we're just gonna use this Liquitex basic 
Basics Acrylic Gesso. $7.99 Hobby Lobby. We're gonna do the front side and probably the back. Just to get a base on this. I think I put too much on there again. I don't know what's wrong with me. I keep thinking I need more than I actually do. That's a lot, actually. And I'm wearing a sweater that I don't want paint on. That's what I always do. I, I get up here and start working, and then I forget that I'm in a shirt or a sweater that I don't want to get icky. Because so, I have a lot of icky stuff I wear up here, but once in a while I'll forget, and I won't dress appropriately. Okay, so now I'm gonna dry. Okay, so I dried this pretty much. I'm going to stick a little bit of crackle paste, just little bits uh, in the areas that are not covered by the flowers, just for some fun, oh, some texture, if it stays on there. I have become addicted to this stuff. I love that crackle texture. I don't like the smell of this stuff. I'm really sensitive to smells and I don't like the smell of this crackle paste, but it's uh, not as bad as Fabri-Tac, Fabri-Fix. So, oops. Just gonna do some. All right, yeah, that's molding, oh, weird. Going to dry that and see if I can get a crackle before we um, take our next step. So let me show you, look at that. Look at that yummy crackle. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Yes, okay, it's pretty dry. So what are we gonna do next? Um, okay, so I have some Distress Stain Peel Paint. Little Distress Ink Peel Paint in a mini ink pad. And some Distress Mica Stain. Mica Spray. And I don't know, I kinda wanna give some... See, I, I wish this would... Oh, man, I wish I could figure out how to get this top off. I really just want to drip some of this on here. Is there a way to get these tops off? Watch me. Ah, oh, boy. I don't know. Is it? It's really not working. Is there a way to pop these tops off of these dauber things? Mm -hmm. I feel it. I feel it coming. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, you guys, I did it. I did it. Okay, so let's have some water handy. Okay, so I kind of want this to drip down. scary. This is freaking me out a little bit. Oh, there we go. Come on, water. Spraying it all over. Oof, doesn't that look cool, though? Hmm. Now... What a mess, huh? That's not very, um, it's kind of very translucent, isn't it? So, mm -mm. that's kind of neat, though. 
kind of gives it a really pretty color, doesn't it? Can you see that? And it gets in those cracks. It looks really cool. So maybe lay it down. Ooh, that's so nice. Yeah, I'm going to leave that dauber out of there. Just kind of let it go up the cracks. Getting all my gesso and stuff wet, though. Okay. Isn't this stuff fun? It's like science class, right? You just never know what you're going to get. I am digging the color of that peeled paint. Love it. Wow, I love that. I don't want to get it too wet. I want it to spread a little bit more, but I feel like I might get it too wet and then everything will come under. <laughs> Everything will come unstuck. Nice. All right, well, let's dry this. Okay, so for the most part, it's dry, except for the edge over here. Um, yeah. I like it, but I just feel like it needs a little more depth to it. Um, and I'm wondering if spraying just a little bit of black or if that would ruin it. I don't know. I wish I could get your opinion before I do it because I feel like it needs something. So I feel like it needs something, a little something else to make it, uh, I don't know, add some depth to it. I didn't, I like this bronze, no, it's pulver, yeah, pulverized mica, antique bronze. It's pretty, but it didn't do kind of what I had hoped it would do. So I'm wondering about doing some black. It's black. Oh, I could be sorry I did this, but, all right, so, just going to spray it a little bit. It's getting all over everything. I mean, it gave it some depth. It's just, um, it's not quite there yet. Okay. There. Much better. No, I'm just kidding. Um, now all it needs is some water to thin that up. Just gonna let that drain. I mean, I can blot it, but then it takes quite a bit of it off. Ugh, I don't know. Let me get. to see the flowers you got the crackle yeah I mean we'll leave it at that we're gonna leave it at that we're not going to um, do anything more to the front for now 
We're gonna leave it at that and see how it turns out when it's much drier. Okay, let's turn that over. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this. So I've dried this, and now I wanna put some matte gel over the top of this just to kind of seal that. Hopefully it will, I don't know, I've never used this very much, so hopefully it doesn't change the Hopefully it doesn't change the colors, or is it changing it? I don't know, I can't really tell. I just kind of want some of this sealed. If we do want to add anything more, it'd be nice to have this sealed first. Ugh, I think it is smearing the, I don't know, we'll see. It might be smearing this black, I don't know. Let's see how that looks when it's dry. Okay, I did dry this for the most part. Um, yeah, it definitely gives it a matte, a matte finish. Hence the word matte gel, right? Um, I like it, but there's something that's bugging me in the middle. Something around the flowers. I'm wondering... My go-to, uh, the metal, uh, metal, metallic, I'm looking at metallic, the gold metallic paint. Um, I'm just, I'm wondering if that would liven up that middle part enough to make me happy. Uh, So you see, just taking some on your finger, just a little, just kind of rubbing it pretty much off. It is outlining these flowers, kind of giving everything a little bit more. That's a bit too much, but you just rub it around, rub it around. It just, it's giving everything more um, definition, I guess. while still being pretty translucent. So, I think I love this paint so much. I'm always using it. I should buy it by the gallon. It just works on everything I do. This is a grungy, grungy little journal cover. And it's just an experiment, you guys. Didn't know how this was gonna work out, but. Okay, so if you hold it one way, it's quite gold. You hold it another, you know, it's just, it's one of those things that looks different. I like it though. So we went from this old notebook thingy <laughs> to, to this. Um, this is part one. So the next video will be probably finishing the back. And then the next video will be doing something with these pages. Okay. Thanks guys for sticking with me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.